Yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Kanye West last night, of course, shouted out Tacoma Park, Rockville, yeah. places that seemed uh, very dear to your heart because you did spend some time here in the DMV. I, yeah, I, I grew up out here. This is where I learned how to play ball. This is where I really got, you know, my forward style because I'm coming from Chicago and, you know, we were we were just a little bit behind D.C. And I remember my friend Aubrey that stayed in the same complex uh, that my dad stayed in. You know, I'm coming, I had, you know, I, I guess what they was calling me was like a Bama or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love this you smile more, man. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, so um, you know, I had the, the Heavy D uh, or the Big Daddy Kane high top and the Heavy D steppers on and the Merry Go Round, yeah. you know, right on shirt and everything. Right, yeah, and then my boy was like, that. we don't do that. We do Jordans mm -hmm. with like Jabot shorts and, and polos. Yeah. And that moment is the reason why I'm a college dropout. You know, I had, I was really heavy like Ralph Lauren at that yeah. time. And also, when I came back with kind of that innovative style, everybody started asking me all these questions. Where do you get that from? Where do you get that from? So it kind of, you know, I've always been into, you know, clothing and just the art of, you know, the way clothes are put together since I was really little. But I like that feeling of people, like, not knowing where I got it from. And that's part of what made me, you know, the style, um, you know, um, I don't want to say icon, but, you know, the, a person that pushes style so much. So moving on to style and fashion, you know. Um, so basically, I'm saying I got my swag from out here, basically. Yeah, I remember you sitting down to watch the drone tour. Like, yeah. So it was like, yeah, you got this swag from here. Yeah, you know, that's great and all, but I'm just so. Right. Then I would go visit my dad out in uh, Tacoma Park, Maryland, and it was this uh, rich kid that had enough Jordans to be able to wear mismatched Jordans like BBD. Right. And he had them with the Jabot yeah. shorts and with with a polo shirt wow because i'm coming there dressed like heavy d with the metal with the tip of my shoes and uh -huh. stuff with like rayon shirts and polka dots uh -huh. and he's like we don't dress like that no more mm. we dress like this mm. i came back to chicago with the new style and ever since then i always been like ahead of niggas mm. uh, and i always i always like that feeling of being ahead mm. but if you ahead long enough you get eventually you need to become the head you need mm. to become the leader right. so i I had a wife. Always a very materialistic city. Booker T. Washington wrote in Up From Slavery, early 1900, 1908, observed that the Washington Negroes had advanced to a level of materialism in just a scant couple of decades out of slavery that he hadn't seen in his travels in any other black communities. I looked at that quote when I saw it and multiplied it times a generation since Booker T. Washington made that observation around 1908. And I looked at the people I knew in D.C., and they were the most materialistic black people I've ever known. You can tell when somebody was big, because back then, if you wasn't hustling, you couldn't afford this. This was real expensive, you know? And a lot of people who was working, uh, you know, working uh, jobs as teenagers, they, they didn't want to spend their whole check on something like this and not have no money. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I say, you know who stood out and who didn't. If you saw somebody rocking madness, that mean they was on that level. Easy guys could dress. They could dress really well. And the guys who have the madness connection, they were promoters that understood it. And they understood it. And they started the madness connection doing t-shirts. But then as these hustlers wanted to spend more money, they were the ones who started bringing in the high-priced jeans and the high-priced tennis shoes and, and the jackets. Rayful Edmonds was a firm believer in trickle-down economics. Skip Franzen was not associated with Eckhouse Porter.